Okay, in this video I would like to show you how to take the square root or the nth root of a number using the Casio FX115ES. So we're going to start off with a relatively simple problem, the square root of 36. Um, so of course we can probably figure that out without a calculator. But anyway, let's start by turning our calculator on. And we're going to go here and hit our, hit our square root button located here. And then simply type in our 36 and hit equals. So the square root of 36 obviously is 6. Moving to problem number 2, it reads the square root of 125. So now we're going to see what happens when we take the square root of a number that is not a perfect square. So once again we hit our square root button, we type in 125, and we see that the Casio gives us 5 times the square root of 5, or 5 root 5. And that number represents the exact square root of 125. Um, if you would like the decimal approximation, this was a word problem or something, um, you would hit your SD key, standard to decimal, decimal back to standard, and we see the decimal approximation is approximately 11.18 if we round to the hundredths place. Okay, so as I work these problems, keep in mind um, here on paper I have all of the buttons that I'll be using. All right, let's move on. What if it's not a square root, but it's a cubed root? All right, let's clear our screen. And what we're going to do is locate the cube root button, which is actually um, a feature right above the square root button in brown. So remember anytime you want to access any of these brown features you have to hit your shift key first. So we're going to hit our shift key and then our square root key and we see that we have the cube root appearing in the screen. So we put in our 512 hit equals and we see that the cube root of 512 is 8. Okay. So let's move to an even higher root, like a fifth root. Okay, so we clear our screen. So any root higher than three, we'll use the button we're about to use. And that button is located here above your power key. So if you look above your um, X to a power key, we see the um, nth root feature. So since it's brown in color, we have to hit shift first and then our power key and it's going to allow us to enter our index. So it's a fifth root, so the index is a five. So we enter in our five and then we use our right arrow to move under the radical sign to put in our radicand of 32 and the fifth root of 32 is two. All right, so let's try one more. This is going to be the fifth root of 175. Now, 175 is not a perfect um, fifth. So let's see what happens then. So if I move back up here, actually I just used my back arrow to um, move back into the radicand. And so I'm going to delete the number that's presently under there and I'm going to type in the new number 175 and we see that we get the decimal so 2.81 if I round to the hundredths place so that's actually an approximation and the point I would like to make here is that if you're trying to take the square root of a number that is not a perfect square. The Casio will give you the exact answer using a radical. However, um, if the index is a number higher than 2, like here we took the fifth root of a number that's not a perfect fifth, uh, we'll get the decimal answer instead. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Ciao.